Hi guys, welcome to your market update on binaries here. I'm looking at the euro on a 60 minute time frame. We've got jobs, job announcement coming out in seven minutes time and we're getting a signal on my divergence already. So I'd like to see the initial push to go higher here. If we can get to this area here, I'm going to be looking to sell some binaries up at this 133 and potentially have a one touch binary here at this 132.20 area. So that's what I'm looking to do. Um, we'll take a look at the pricing in IG. 132, 132.20. So if we look at the 133. So this is the ladder that the euro to be above 133 by 8 p.m. If we can get a better price for this, you know, up to the 50s and 60s, I want to sell this bet. Okay, I like to sell it. Also, there's the one touch, which um, I'm looking for a much better price. The euro to touch 132.20. Once again, if price can go higher, I will I will uh, buy this bet. I mean, I'm making 30 to risk 70, but you can close the trade off. Um, but I'm looking for the price to come down, so this will increase. So the the, the bet for me really is the 133s, um, and let's see if we can get um, get that price and let's see what's going to happen with the market action. Okay, so we've got news coming out. So I'd rather see this go up than down, guys. Up than down, okay? Okay, so it's already going down. We're going to push down here in the euro. All right, so we're going to push down here on the euro. The divergence is still in play. So I'm looking for this 132.20 to get hit. Just below there, just there. So signal come out before the news. So if we can get that 120, we didn't get the push higher, but the signal was still there. <clears throat> so news has come out. Volatility is kicking in. Unfortunately, we didn't get that push higher on this divergence. Euro coming off a bit, dollar going higher, stock market's going higher, stock indices going higher as well. So we just want if we can just break below this 120, you can see a nice flush to the downside here on the euro. Trading off for 60 minutes, so we've got half an hour for this candlestick to close. Just stall in here. Let's take a look at the the Dow. Dow pushing up here quite nicely. Okay, so we're trying to get through again. We've been up and down and up and around and around. And here we're trying to give it a go again at this 132.20 area on the divergence plane. If we can break through there, next target 131.80ish, just here. So we're just stalling at this support area. Looks like it wants to go. We've still got divergence in play. Great thing about trading the binaries is that even though if you do put a trade up on a uh, trade here to for a one touch down here or here, even if it goes further up here, you don't, you're not stopped out the trade. Of course, you can close the trade whenever you want to if it meets your risk parameters. But the great thing about trading with round news is that there's no stops involved with binaries, and you're not going to get faked out the move before it continues in the direction you thought it would go in the first place. So it's a great way of trading on the binaries, especially if you're getting a signal before the actual news comes out, because we're certainly getting that um, still in play here on the divergence indicator. Divergence, you know, we're trying to go higher, and this is actually saying, no, we're going lower. So this 120 area for me is key just below this pivot here. If we can break below there, we can certainly see prices going down to the next level here at 131.85. So OK, 
Okay, we're trying to go lower. So when you trade in binaries, it's all about um, it's all about all about the setup first. Take into consideration the setup, and then you're looking for the vehicle you want to trade um, with that binary and and the best risk reward that you're going to get. You know these brokerage, the binary brokerage, they're not silly. They're not going to give you if they price these binaries wrong. Well, if everyone piles into a binary and they're priced. Uh, at the same price, you know, they realise then they price these binaries wrong. But you know, it, there's ways of getting around. There's ways of beating the broker by, um, you know, playing moves, getting best risk rewards when it's opposite to where the trend's going. If you can see things like these divergences, so 132.20, can we trade there? If we can, that'll be great. For 23s. Fours, just at support here. Twenty twos, twenty ones, twenty ones, twenty. There we go. We're below that, uh, thirty two twenty now. Um, coming down nicely. So we've got um, twenty minutes for this sixty minute candlestick to actually uh, close, um, and it's coming down really nicely. Let's see if we can get this one thirty one eighty five. So I mean, it's it's done exactly what. I, if we went for the one thirty two twenties, I think we were looking at something like thirty points on the trade, if I can remember. But but the concept is what I'm what I was looking for, guys, is the setup. Okay, that was the main thing. The setup was. Let me just remind you what the setup was. We had this major double top, and these are topping towels in the market here from yesterday on the sixty minute time frame. As we've come up today. You know we've tried to get up there, but this is telling me we're coming down. All right, so um, you know I was looking for price to go a bit further. Could have sold some binaries that would touch 132.20. I would have got a much better price. But anyway, that was a profitable trade if you take in the 132.20s. But also not to close above 133. Now, if you're taking that binary at 133, you'll be in profit very nicely on that without any stops, without any. Um, having to worry about getting stopped out and then moving in the direction that you wanted to okay so nice divergence trade all done in real time there and um, hope you learn from it and it gives you just an opportunity and different ways of trading the markets without having just directional trades uh, whether, to be, whether to be right or wrong on, on every single trade okay I hope it helps and I'll speak to you soon take care